I can't believe Taylor's gone. Where's my subtitles? I can't believe my subtitles are gone. What the fuck? We need to get away from here. Let's check that out. It'll get us out of these damn woods, and we can talk on the way. What are we checking out? The light? Ah, <sighs> shit. Oh well, one down, four to go, I guess. Taylor. I just can't believe it. This ain't happening. Nope, no, it really is. Really is happening. I hate to break it to you. No one of those symbols. Okay, we've got some buildings. Can't believe Taylor's gone. Stop saying that. You're like a broken record. I'm such an asshole. That's all say the exact Can't same she's thing. Gone. Oh my god, we all sound like broken records. If Taylor were here, she'd be yelling at us to keep moving. To make it out. And that's exactly what we're going to do. I don't want to be against Mary. There's got to be a way of stopping the girl. We might have already missed a chance to change things. You had a chance to get Mary exposed for what she is. A liar and God a faker. God damn it, that's not what Put I meant. Put her in the dock for a change. Why didn't you take it? Because it's not her fault. We don't know for sure that stopping Mary will help us out. It's just a theory. It may only be a theory, but right now it's all we've got. This is a one-shot deal. We get it wrong and there's no replay. It's game over, so I'm up for doing whatever it takes. No. Come on. Let's take a look. I didn't want to do it that way. So we can't get through the gate. Angela, Angela, get out, out, out of the way! Shush! Oh, it's an these. Okie dokie. What do you got for me? This is the last one. Oh! We'll have fun with that. You, you didn't need your jaw intact, did you? Pressed into silence. Well, he was indeed that. No way in. Like the rest of this fucking town. Mayor Hale's land deal. Fears protests will surely escape, escalate as closure looms. Oh, that's about the texture, textile town. It was textiles, wasn't it? Not misremembering things. And he was the mayor. Ah, Samuel Carver. He's got the devil's horns. Sucker. So we have Simon Carver and Samuel Carver. I appreciate that you take the stairs, but I'd also appreciate it if you took them faster. Why is John just letting me go first? No entry. Oh, well, Check this that. out. What are we checking out? It's a door. Congratulations. Hey! They're coming. What? So suddenly he you can can't see? You can't keep running. I'll make sure they'll find you. Is he talking that about the police? I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. Are Come we going to go to jail? Inside. Because I took the shot? Oh, shit, Andrew. You're going to jail. Rip. Assuming you survive, that is. If you survive, you're going to jail. You don't have well, a light? No one's been here for a long time. <laughs> now is my time to speak before the judge. I am filled with dread. I cannot know how my testimony will be received. The devil has blinded so many to what is real and what is not. Nothing good will come of this. His words will seek to twist the truth. Allow me to judge what is true. 
Abraham and Joseph are allies in this deception. And lest we forget, you condemned Joseph to death only yesterday. He did? Or do you now question that decision? Why? I have heard Why? nothing today to sway my conviction. Joseph consorted with the same malicious force as How? his How? What, what did he do? For this, the court thanks Reverend Carver, who faced the devil's wrath to present the evidence. <gasps> you only my duty, judge. son now, of a however, bitch. However, this court is duty-bound by law to seek out the truth. We must therefore examine these claims made by Abraham against Mary. If I may speak briefly, Judge Wyman. Time is short, Reverend. Be indeed brief. Mary has shown great fortitude to speak out against the evil here. Many would have lacked her courage. Yet her reward for exposing this brooding covered in our midst is to be besmirched. Her courage is not in question. It is her intent we must be certain of. Her accuser is the very man entrusted to care for this innocent child. Plain to see, he is not fit for such a task. And I would ask the court to have Mary placed elsewhere. In your care, you sexual predator. Who would you have be her new ward, Reverend? I am prepared to take responsibility for the child. If the court agrees. First, the court must hear what Abraham has to say. No decision can be made on the child until then. Accuse Carver. Shit, but I'm Andrew. Please, uh, sorry, I'm Daniel. Abraham. And he doesn't like Mary. What am I to do? Some would have me speak out against Mary, but could a child truly be capable of such evil? No. This is tough. I get that. Would be for anyone. Mary, it's just a kid. The priest! Accuse the priest! Tell the court what you have come here to say. Speak up, boy. Out with it! Mary has spoken of evil spirits, devilry and witchcraft. Things many cannot believe could exist here in the I'm not Hall. here for history and hearsay. Get to the point, boy. Mary is tormented. The apparitions she has seen, they have plagued her. Stolen her innocence. Some suggest she is in league with these creatures, but no one can be certain. Myself, least of all. Can any of us truly know a child's mind? You claim I lack the ability to see the truth. I beg forgiveness. I would never suggest such a thing. My time is not for wasting. You and the priest have irked me enough for one day. I have more to say. I have already given you enough time. Just shout it out. Mary the priest! Is to be placed into the care of Reverend oh, Carver. God. Now stand down. Tell me everything. Did you see Andrew's double again? He told the judge that Mary did nothing wrong, like she's the victim here. Oh, that's bad. Very, very bad. I disagree. Shit! The curator so disagrees. This helps us. Has to. We now know for sure that we can alter what happens. You agree with him? It went down just like he said. Is this where Andrew's monster is hiding? What the fuck? We can't stay. Let's get out of here. We just got in. Do you want to take the same door back out? Alarm system in use. Yeah, I don't think so. Alrighty. Look at those outfits. This place <laughs> shut down way, way back. Yep. Life as a kid in the 70s. Everything you, was ahead of me. You would know about that, wouldn't There's you? There's gotta be another exit. Maybe on the ground floor? James Clark, sadly missed by his many colleagues and friends. So this is John's place. So they said that John was already condemned to death, but what was the evidence? I know that. What did the priest show? Kiss my ass. 
Mr. Vincent Barnes, 15 Mayflower Avenue, number 7, Little Hope, blah, blah, blah. Dear Mr. Barnes, subject, employment, oh shit, employment warning letter. Following our recent disciplinary meeting, I am writing regarding your attendance and behaviour. Management have made every effort to accommodate your difficult circumstances and recent injury by accepting your recurring absences. However, continued warnings regarding attendance, lateness and intoxication have prompted us to issue a formal written warning. Wait, what year was this? 1972. Further repetition of this behaviour or other misconduct within the next 12 months will result result in dismissal. Ravenden expects our employees to be enthusiastic, punctual and sober. You must acknowledge receipt of this letter. Please sign and return it to the foreman's office within seven days. No one's name starts with a V though. Vincent? Oh, Vince! Oh, it's Vince. Wait. It literally is Vince. He's an old man, so I guess that makes sense. It was his. It's gonna be a picture of Vince. No, it's us. Oof, family photo. Get over here. You gotta see this. Why is it in Vince's office? Why is it in Vince's office? This is too fucking weird. <sighs> this is too much. Way too fucking much. First, a load of weirdo witch killers from ancient history look just like us. Now, we got the creepy family of the year winners who also look just like us. What the actual fuck? What does it mean, though? Do you think they died like the other lookalikes? No clue. Who knows what happened to them? Maybe we're all stuck in the same nightmare. How soon after their death were you guys born? You really want a souvenir? Not the kids, the From other two. From this night? From this place? All I know, I'm keeping hold of this. Smart. I think what that you is a smart move. All this being a nightmare. You mean that? It's my nightmare. Why are you guys all in it? <laughs> Any of us could say the same thing. I don't know what's real here. Are you the real Andrew? Oh, come on. So wait, who are those people in the photograph? Maybe time is fucked up here. Like, that really... Okay, this is Vince. What's the story here? She leave him for some other guy? Tanya and Vince. <gasps> oh, Vince! It's the black guy from the funeral in the car. Vince was Tanya's boyfriend. Right. So why didn't he react to seeing Taylor? Because she has the exact same face. Or did he not ever see Taylor because he was too busy getting drunk? That's so weird. How does he not know? That would totally put two and two together. Okay. So what's your theory, smart guy? You hear that? Right below us. We need to find a way out of here. Now. I mean, I was already trying, Prof. Tragic fire caused by child's toy. The cause of a horrific fire at a Little Hope family residence at the weekend may have been a child's toy. Oh well, yeah, it was the puppet, wasn't it? Lieutenant David Fire of the Little Hope Volunteer Fire Department told the Herald that the gas range in the kitchen had been left on and a child's doll set down near it. He believes the doll caught fire and fell off the range, setting the kitchen, kitchen ablaze. The fire resulted in five deaths amongst the Clark family. One survivor, Anthony Clark, has been questioned by police after being arrested on suspicion of causing the fire. So he did survive. Okay, I had a feeling he did, because like, didn't he go to prison? However, the fire investigation is now thought to exonerate the young man, who will be released today. Oh. So then what happened to him? The family's minister, Reverend Leonard Carson of St. David's Episcopal Church, said the fire was the tragedy. Why are these quotation marks the wrong way around? It's terrible for a family to be decimated. They've been going through, been going through a difficult time recently, as many families do. But they were a good, hard-working and loving fa mm, I don't know the parents were loving. And I was helping them through their troubles. It's a tragedy that it should end like this. No date for the funeral has yet been arranged. Both the fire department and the mayor's office praised the swift action of police officers who arrived first on the scene and were able to prevent the blaze claiming its sixth victim. 
Officers Reynolds and Hoffman's quick thinking prevented another death, said the mayor, who recommended the men for accommodation. Wait, isn't this mayor Carver? Marine Veteran Reunion. So where's Anthony now? Did he try to commit suicide again? Cancel order. Open up that bad boy and check out what's inside. That's not? heavy. Andrew, get your ass over here and help me out. Why don't you just climb it? What's up? You, you take that just side. I'll take this side. Jump into the machinery to your left together, and, right? and climb it. Good. But whatever. Now, push. Yeah, smart move, you idiots. Whoa, whoa, shit, and this is how we end up in the sewers. Are you just gonna leave him by himself? Hey, are you okay down there? Oh god. Oh god. Get him! I don't know. I don't know what's the best option. We kind of end up in the sewers, so maybe we should have attacked. Oh. We're supposed to end up- shit, I've done the wrong thing. We're supposed to end up in the sewers. He's gonna get killed. We made a mistake. We saw the premonition and we failed. I'm an idiot. Does anyone else want to help? Go! I'm fucked. Andrew was supposed to be down there with him. You're dead, Daniel. I'm sorry. I panicked in the in the spur of the moment. I didn't mean to get you killed. I really didn't. Andrew needed to have been down here with me. Daniel, are you still down there? Shit. Daniel? I've killed him. I made a mistake. Should have just attacked instead of trying to be defensive. Let's go before anything else happens. Why can't we all just go down and team up and kill the creature. Why does nobody want to kill the creatures? They just want to attack and run. Get some fire, get some machetes, and kill the fuckers. It ain't rocket science. Or at least incapacitate them. Like, you can lodge that creature into, uh, you know, a wall or something so he can't move because he's got spikes sticking out of him that can easily stick into things. Daniel, you out here? He did. He very did. Shit. See Daniel out here? Sorry, Daniel. No. He's not here yet. Okay, let's keep going. Daniel will be okay. He'll catch us up. He's gonna die. We are gonna kill absolutely everybody at this rate. Daniel! You okay? Daniel? Please answer me! I really don't think that uh, yelling and giving away your position is really the best idea. But hey, I'm not a horror expert. Daniel? Where are you, buddy? Andrew! Oh good, are we going into the sewers? Hey! You guys! Good, good. I'm up here! Boy, am I happy to see you. At least I'm not the only one damp and disheveled. Oh, God. I didn't get him killed. Huh. And here comes Amy. And have you spotted that kid, Mary? Not seen her. Still haven't seen the bus driver either. Was 
What's that supposed to mean? Secret found. An old car with a familiar looking sun symbol on its hood. The symbol appears to be related to pagan magic. Well, we missed a few things along the way, but... Got a few more things. Going this way? Okay. Even though there's somebody over there. She doesn't have her glasses on, so she can't see correctly. You but... see that? Mary! Or today's version of Mary. Stay on your toes. Anything could happen. No kidding. The girl was seen in the backyard of the ruined house, and that is a complete circle for the little girl. Yep. Dinner urged Andrew to leave and let go of the metal bar to fend for himself in the factory basement. I wonder what that's going to get us. Though, that makes him a homegrown hero, for sure. Yeah, Taylor dead. Yeah, she very, very dead. Where's her death? There. She was burned to death by a demon after she was pulled over a wall. Oh, wrong button. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Here we go. Now we find your death. No one in Little Hope is safe while you still draw breath. Ah, he was crushed. You must in die. The museum. Not even your wife Amy was spared your lust to serve Satan. Damn me if you must. You're not fit. Speaking of my late wife. There is still fight in you. I must drive the devil out for the safety of everyone here. Oh, no one is safe. Joseph, do you renounce the devil and all his teachings? I carry no sin. I'm no disciple of the devil. Fling accusations. Accuse Carver. Servants. We have to stop this. Help Joseph. Although that's just going to confirm that he's, uh, you know, a witch in their eyes. Come on, help me! Look, there can be no more doubting. This is damned if you do, damned if you don't. More stones. The devil must be crushed from within him. Do not flinch. The fate of little Orp rests in your hands. Separated. You were literally. Oh, thank God. It was like you were literally standing next to each other. We're screwed. There is no way out from this nightmare. We don't have a lot of time. Time for what? Well, I mean, <laughs> you're living through the experiences. How did she get free of the chains? Or is this I his? I can't get away from this thing. You saw what happened to Taylor. I'm not going the same way. Are you crazy? We gotta move. But we're slowly moving <laughs> through the story. John, please hurry! I'm not going to have to aim. Angela urged John to hurry when confronted. Well, what was the other option? Oh, God. Okay, she's got a full circle complete, I think. Oof. Don't know what that's going to do. Come on, you fucking ready! God, the sensitivity! Ah! 
At least I don't have to be too specific. As long as it touches the circle in some way. Run, Angela! I didn't press it! I pressed it! What do you mean I didn't press it? Son of a bitch! I legitimately pressed it and in time. And yes, it was the correct button. Because my, my hand by default is on X. Why are the other two just standing and watching? It's so dumb. Get up! I, why does it keep saying I didn't hit it? I hit it! And in the circle! The fuck? Does that mean he's gonna die as a result now? God damn it, why does it keep saying my cues aren't working? That one I definitely missed. I couldn't get to it in time because it, it's got weird directions. John's gonna die. Not much I can do about it. Always help. Always help. We learnt that from Until Dawn. With Sam and Mike. Always help. Although she's free, but you've just left John. <gasps> she's not free. No. Fuck. Save Angela! Save Angela! I hate the directional Angela. ones. Come on, can some, what are the other two doing? Can you just freaking help? Instead of just running away. God, that thing's quick. Ew, that's freaky as fuck. It won't open. Oh, yes, it will. <gasps> John. God fucking damn it. I hate this direction key. It does not move cleanly. I know it looks like it's just a straight, hey, just push it in this direction, but it doesn't. It pulls away from the middle. God damn it. John's dead. There's nothing I can do about this. I hit it! Why does it keep saying I'm not hitting it? Is my controller faulty? He's dead. This is frustrating! I'm hitting the buttons! Yes, I'm missing some of those directional ones, but I have hit every single one in this sequence. And it's not taking my buttons into consideration. And it goes right as if I'm hitting the wrong key, but I'm not. The first one was an X, the second one was a square. Like, I'm hitting it right. Ah, oh, this is frustrating. I can own up to my stakes when I make them. Hence the one when I couldn't kick him. I'm owning up to that. But those symbols, I got correct and in time. I can't believe Urgh. John it's was looking so for frustrating. Nobody deserves that. Yeah. Especially not the professor. He's a good guy. Place looks like it burned down. Bloody hell. Three to go. Something here isn't right. What's new? Is this Nothing the house? That's right. Is this the house that they had in the 70s? Ruined house. Hey, it's almost dawn. Nice work, guys. Oh, so they're not going in order. The premonition's on this thingy. What the? Is this gonna be the next game? Is that the next game? It's weird that you'd see that in a premonition, but it's not a character from this game. Ah, that's why it's big and in the middle. And why I got it after finishing off here. Yep. So that's going to be a character from the next game. I wonder what that's going to be called. And what it's going to be about. I like the music. I mean, as long as Andrew survives. It's kind of all I'm barracking for at this point. Oof! Throat tire swing thingies up. That would freak out Taylor if she was still alive. But, uh, she's not.
The girl was seen again inside the house heading upstairs. I thought we got all of yours. Apparently not. The Modern Guide to Successful Parenting. so important about this I don't really know the relevance of that but sure we found it whatever it is a way out <gasps> or a way in You didn't show it to her? What? You're gonna want to see this and then doesn't show it to her. Yeah, whatever. Oh, that's the one we just looked at. How do we get out of here? Do we, do we go take the hole that the creepy creature's waiting at? Key. Fine. Don't know what the key to, but I would have taken it. Letter from Reverend Carson. His name is Leonard Carson, though. Dear Anne, thank you for your letter regarding Megan. I understand your concerns and show you that your daughter's rebellious behaviour is not unusual. I've helped parents with similar issues and would be happy to help with Megan's moral guidance. Hebrews 12.11 says that all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant, but later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness. Please see me after the service on Sunday so we can arrange time for some personal instruction. Like, does that not sound creepy to anybody else? Sounds very creepy. I think we should be inspecting windows. Can, can we get off the window? Thank you. I mean, everything leads to this moment. Back to this house. But if I go to the other window, we're going to see the other one. Which window was it? This window? Well, it's the door, technically speaking. Although we haven't seen yours, because Abraham's not dead yet. Okay, I'm a little confused. Where are we actually going? Haven't I done everything? Ah, this way. Oh, right, so you're following Mary upstairs. My apologies. 
You hear that? I did. It can only be the girl. Let's go find her. She's in here. Stay here. Is it a doll? No? Final. Because he saw the original vision. He knows I was about to confess all to the judge. No way. You protect me. You must. Wait, this isn't right. No way. I assure all gathered here today that our town will be free of the devil's grasp. Together, by God's grace, little hope will prevail. My word on it. This court is hastily convened, but with good reason. If we are to finally rid ourselves of the evil which has infested little old, then kill we must Abraham? act today. I accuse you, Mary, oh. of witchcraft. What say you, Reverend? The evidence, as discovered through my investigation, is beyond <gasps> question. He's pointing the finger Mary at her? Mary uses her puppet as a familiar to summon and serve the devil. He's incriminating her to save himself. by a child, by her guise of innocence. This puppet was mistakenly used to denounce Tabitha. But it has always belonged to Mary and Mary alone. She allowed her own kin to be executed as she watched in silence. That is not so. Liar! Now this tin child, this creature of Satan, has the marrow to accuse me, a man of God, of wrongdoing. Whatever she pulls, do not fall for her little girl act. She may be a child, but there's no doubt she means harm. She's malicious. It was never my intention to bring harm to this town or its people. Can you not help me? What can I do? If I could do something to stop this, I would, but now in her hour of greatest need, I this child know. of the damned pleads once more for the Wait. devil's help. I beg the court's indulgence. Please guide me at this time. This Seek your counsel. Carver is evil. We have to stop this. The only madness is right here in this court. Carver, he's the evil one. God, I hope it was we that, not the town. Oof. I mean, the technically, it is the town. Actually, us, I should have said it was the town. Oh, fuck. Because it is the town. Reverend Carver oh, man. is the one urging us to believe in the devil. Be silent. This is all You'll not deceive doing. us any longer. Your true purpose is plain to see. I will see this town purged of all evil. Is it the he's town? Right. Listen to what he's saying. Carver is to blame. What must I do to bring little Hawk back into the line? Fuck if I know. Fear the Reverend and what he is capable of. Destroy the damn doll. If it's the doll that's evil, then destroy the damn doll. Then you'll be rid of it. Are you telling me that if I destroyed that doll <laughs> ages ago, we wouldn't be in this mess? Oh. oh, wow, wow. Spoiler alert. Andrew advised Abraham to destroy Mary's doll, resulting in a terrible fire at the courthouse. Spoiler. Angela was intrigued by her look alike. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. She escaped the monster's clutches. So she's The saved Reverend is right to blame the puppet. That is what has cast its spell on Mary. He's changing a story. Destroy Lol. it, and she will be restored. Released from its curse. If the puppet truly holds Mary in an evil grip, then let us destroy it. See if the child can be free from its spell. Reverend, burn the puppet. Destroy it. And that's another bearing. Andrew chose not to intervene when Abraham asked for his advice. Mary was burned as a witch. Guy, why are you doing bearings before I even see them? Not act in haste. What? The girl must face the full consequences of her deeds. Authority is not for questioning. Do as I ask.
You've done everything you could. Whatever happens, it's not your fault. But why did it give me a bearing that Mary's been tried and burned at the stake? Do we think that's it? I, <laughs> I figured that if the doll... It's weird. And then that would be the end of it. You made the right decision. There's no way you could have known what was going to happen. Let's just get out of here. So what if it is, like, Carver's a horrible human being, don't get me wrong, but what if it is the town more so because he keeps... What's up? ...respawning, so to speak. You okay? That child won't be troubling us again. This is over. Do I read the bearing? <laughs> I want to risk reading it when I haven't actually seen this. Angela survived the night. Well, yay for you. Dental, uh, which is the new one? Daniel survived the night. Andrew chose not to intervene when Abraham asked for his advice. He did, though. Wait, what? We told him about the puppet. And then... I think my game's bugged because that doesn't match with the option I chose. I chose to save Mary by burning the poppet, which resulted in that other thing about the place burning down, wherever that is. I don't even know where that is. There. And resulting in a terrible fire at the courthouse. So how did he also not speak up even though he did speak up? I, I'm a little confused about what happened to Mary. can't be the end of it because I have had no light shed on the matter. Okay, the mist is cleared. Where's the bloody bus driver? Hey! Is he going to get us arrested? I'm talking to you! Hey! You should have stayed away. Never come back here. He does recognize us. I'll never forget or forgive you for what you did. Why are you blaming Andrew? I don't want any trouble, okay? Oh, he blames him for the fire. We're going. And we're not coming back. The only place you should be heading is hell, you goddamn murdering son of a bitch. He, he did call the police. That's him! What? Look out. That son of a bitch has a gun. What the hell is this about? You seem a little confused. Ah, uh, no, yeah. No, please. Wait. You don't understand. So would he have gone to jail if we didn't... What? We're diverting all traffic through a little hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. So we've been playing the bus driver this entire time as Andrew? Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. Oh, it's Anthony. Wow, I only just clicked. It's freaking Anthony. Oh, okay. Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? Yeah, that's funny. Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. Anything you can do to help us would be greatly appreciated. There's no goddamn us.
So the entire premise of us being students with a professor was all just... nothing? <laughs> this seems weird. But he could see you that he clearly you. wasn't you aiming at him. Shot at me. He wasn't. You can see Get that he was clearly aiming Go. You're, over you're his in shoulder. Real danger. I know. From you. You'll regret it big time if you don't leave right yeah, now. Yeah, I knew that line was bad. Yeah, face me like a man, you chicken shit. Hey. And that's why it was They're important coming. that Andrew lost his memories of the crash. Because he's really Anthony. It's okay. I'm gonna be just fine. But I don't understand his hallucinations. Obviously he's mentally traumatized by the uh, killing of his family, but what's that gonna do with the murder trials and the witch trials and all of that? I'm so confused. I may have to have this explained to me by Google. <laughs> Because I don't get it. At least Man of Medan made sense. This doesn't make sense at all. What was the point in having everybody survive then if, if they're not real? I feel I just feel cheated. Like I shouldn't have even have gone to the effort of trying to keep them alive when That's it had it. no Game bearing You're done. on it whatsoever. Now, at least oh, you God. could always try again, see if you can get a different result. Well, I can get a result where he doesn't go to jail, but what would it be? That's the problem with demons. If you don't lay them to rest, they will haunt you forever. Not a bad effort. Some found redemption, some didn't. All Is that the point? Of the duty. spirits finding redemption? And you eventually found him. The bus driver. Maybe he can now put the but What's this got to do him? with Mary and the supernatural? Oh, I don't understand. What is the correlation? Come on, can you, can you tell me more? I don't get it, Mr. Curator. Don't leave me here, wallowing Until in confusion. Until we meet again. Maybe in the Arabian Desert. Oh, Maybe is that where she falls in the cave else. from the rope? We're going but to we some ancient site? Again. So it's going to have At some sort of one more time. Arabic myth? myth? <laughs> Interesting. I usually get a trailer for the next game. Is this my trailer? That doesn't look very Arabic. Okay. Afterwards, do we get a trailer? Because <laughs> that's what happened in Men and Madame. We got a trailer for Little Hope. Oh, I can't skip. That's just mean. I can't even make it go quicker. Oh dear God. Finally, skip to end. Yes, please. Give me a trailer, please. Yeah, I know that. You Here we go. Absolutely not. We'll start believing. Is that Ashley Tisdale? We are under attack by. It totally looks like it. I don't know what. You wouldn't believe me even if I tried. Hell, <laughs> I don't believe it, and I was there. In Sumerian myth, they say the souls of the dead would be brought to the house of ashes, okay. where they lived on dust, plagued by the demons of the underworld. House of Ashes. Aww. We got a bigger trailer for Little Hope last time. Oh well. It's intriguing enough to make me want to play. But still, I don't fully understand parts of the game. And I'm intrigued about the different endings to the game. So I am definitely going to head over to YouTube and watch some other stuff and learn exactly what just happened. Because <laughs> I am a little confused about many, many, many things. But that's okay. I enjoyed the game nonetheless, despite that weird ending. I liked it more than Man of Medan. Like, Man of Medan was alright, I didn't mind it, and I had fun playing it, but... I don't know, I just didn't really like the whole concept as much as I have this one with the whole witchcraft thing. This, that I have enjoyed, like the basis of the story. It was quite entertaining the whole way through. And being able to see back in time with the witch trials that happened in Little Hope, that was 
It was nice. I liked that. But I am looking forward to the Ashes one. So please let it not be too far into 2021. I know the original plan was to release them all six months apart. And I don't know why Little Hope was delayed. It was not due to COVID, I don't think, because it was only meant to be released early year anyway, which would be in the beginning of COVID. So it should have been done before then, but whatever. So hopefully they're still going to keep their six month cycle, hopefully. But that means it's still half a year. Oh God. Can I wait half a year? Oh.